What's up? It's your boy Marwin. Gonna get some love to Haitian culture today. Making a fried chicken dish, Haitian style. Gonna show you how to make crispy, tasty, delicious chicken without flour, without an egg wash, without a dredge. Gonna keep it simple, but keep it good and tasty. Stick with me. I'll show you how to make dish for another part of the world. All right. I start by washing my chicken with the solution of vinegar, lemon juice, and water, nice and easy. The pieces of chicken I'm using are breasts that I chopped up, as well as drumsticks, which I butterflied. Butterflying is a great technique to create more surface area for your chicken. Also, uh, allows you to, to season it more, have more flavor. Uh, but you can check out the description for a link to like how to butterfly drumsticks. So my chicken's all clean. I'm going to now season them. For me, that's with dry seasoning, salt, pepper, allspice, and paprika. That's kind of like my core seasoning base. The allspice gives it that Caribbean element, and that flavor comes through on the inside uh, as you marinate the, the chicken. This is a critical seasoning mix. This is uh, Haitian epis, which is kind of similar to a sofrito. If you think about kind of Puerto Rican food, um... And so, yeah, you're going to use that as a seasoning base, and that's what I'm going to marinate the chicken. I recommend marinating overnight. The longer you marinate, the more flavor you get. Also, the more tender the chicken becomes uh, as you cook it. So, for me, I'm going to do a two-step. First is going to be to steam. I know it sounds odd, but trust me on this. I set up, I have a bamboo steamer basket. You can use like a pasta insert or however you would like normally go about steaming vegetables. Uh, so, I steam about, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. Basically, I'm going to steam it just long enough that it's almost cooked, maybe about two minutes away from being fully, uh, fully cooked. This way, um, this is going to help with the crispiness and the clean flavor uh, later when we, get, when we get to frying. And I'll talk about that a little bit then. But, you know, you want to set this up, have it covered. And for me, I like to actually like steam on both sides. It's not a requirement. You can definitely leave it just on one side and, and cook the whole time on that one side. But I'm a little neurotic sometimes, and I just like to kind of like do it that way. That's the direction I took. And so you'll know when the chicken's ready. It'll go from like being that pink raw color to more of a, you know, almost like solid white, um, you know, color, as you can see here. So my chicken's done. I'm going to take it off and set it aside and get to preparing my fryer for the main step, Right. So I'm going to use some vegetable oil that I'm going to heat, preheat to about 375 degrees. That's Fahrenheit for my U.S. people. Uh, and then once I got it ready to go, I'm going to add the chicken. You may have to cook in batches, you know, depending on how much chicken you, you know, you cook and how big your pan is. Uh, I'm going to cook. This is going to be a short fry. It's really like a flash fry because you've already pre-cooked it. You, you literally just want to cook it long enough to kind of get that crispiness on the outside and just to finish off the cooking and make sure it's all the way completely cooked. You can see the color change. It becomes a lot more brown thanks to the paprika and the allspice as well as the uh, epis marinade that we use, right? And so the thing I really appreciate about this process is by steaming it, you don't have to leave the chicken in the oil that long. And so you get a much cleaner taste um, with the flash fry. But you still get that crispiness that, that you want because, you know, the, 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 the grease is at a pretty high temperature at 375 degrees. And so if you're cooking in batches, you can take, you know, first batch out, add the second batch. But give it a little time to, for the temperature to come back up to, to heat because when you add chicken to oil, it decreases the temperature a bit. And so... You want to make sure that you're, each time you're cooking, you're flash frying at that higher temperature. So my chicken is good to go. It's got the crisp I want. It's completely done. I love the color. There's an aroma that you can't, you know, obviously smell, but trust me on it. It smells great. My kitchen smells great. I can smell the spices. I got that Effie's banging. Mm, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're good to go here. So I got the color I wanted. I got everything I want. The color, the smell. And I just know the flavor is going to be there with all the seasoning that's, that's uh, inside the chicken as well as on the exterior that we keep it going. So, yeah, I think you're going to want to make this one. I serve this with, like, fries and, like, you know, pickles or slaw. This is a Haitian pickles. I wanted to kind of keep that theme going, which is basically kind of a pickle, cabbage, and peppers dish with um, a hot and spicy uh, brine that you, that you use. Like, right, brine is good when you have, like, a fatty dish. That's the chicken. It's, um, it's juicy on the inside, 
got incredible flavor, but it's also crispy with that with that nice crunch and clean flavor. That's it. Make the dish. Yo, I'm telling you, I really, really, really like the way this dish turned out. The the steaming, you know, basically kind of pre-cooks the chicken. So you don't have to fry it in the oil as long. And what that means is you have you get just a lot more clean flavor. So you can taste the chicken, but you still get that crisp because you're kind of flash frying it on high heat uh, for just a short amount of time. It's delicious. It's got um, the flavors of the spice rub and the epis come through strong. Um, so it's deeply flavored inside and out with the marinade. Uh, and it's just it's just really good chicken. Uh, the texture is perfect. Texture is perfect. You may notice the color a little bit with the um, the dark color. That's from the the paprika and the spice rub, as well as the epis that you know when you fry it. Um, that's the kind of color you get. But it's a really really tasty chicken. I highly recommend you guys make it. And let me know what you think. If you like it, leave a like or some comments. But most importantly, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and get recipes weekly from me. Peace out.